Good morning, everybody. Crash, say good morning. Nope, she's too excited. Back on the road, we're just uh, leaving Parksville and we're heading up to Qualicum Beach to meet Patrick. All right, guys, well, you can see Nana off in the distance and we are at the laundromat here in Qualicum Beach and we found Patrick. <laughs> so we're just gonna do our laundry and then we'll be back on the road. Okay, we're all done at the laundromat. Now we're gonna drive up the coastline up to uh, Comox and Courtney area. Okay, and just like that, we've made it to, where are we? Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in Courtney. <laughs> and uh, Patrick's got me out here on a walk. <sighs> we had A&W for lunch, and now we're just walking the uh, waterfront area, although the tide's out, so it's mostly mud. Anyways, at least the sun's kind of out. Alright, well, we're done with our impromptu walk at the uh, waterfront and we had lunch, so now we're going to go and check out a rest area that's about 30 minutes away from here, heading north towards Campbell River, and hopefully it works for a place to call home for the night. You ready, Presh? You ready? some pretty views, that's for sure. There we go. Okay guys, well, you can see, well, barely through Precious's dirty window. Crash, look what you do to my window. Filthy. Anyways, you can see we are parked we uh, have arrived here, what does it say? Oyster Bay Shoreline Park. So let's go outside and see what it's like. Are you ready, Presh? Don't have to ask you twice. Okay, so Oyster Bay rest area. No idling your engine. But not bad. Picnic tables, garbage cans. Although it's quite busy right now, I'm hoping that it will clear out and uh, it'll be quiet enough that we can get away with sleeping here tonight. You can see Patrick's parked over there. But we're gonna go down here and see what it's all about. Just as soon as Precious figures out what she has done. This is the reality of my life. The dog keeps going around me the wrong way. Get back here. Oh my God. It's impossible to try and vlog walking Precious unless she's off of the leash. On a leash, she's terrible. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. Let me flip it around. You, Precious, you are very annoying to walk. Anyways, guys, look at this. Look at those mountains. Woo-wee. Beautiful. Someone's excited. 
She just keeps running back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Leave it to Precious to go all the way out there to try and bring in that big piece of wood. Come on, Presh. Weirdo. What? It's gonna drop off somewhere. Oh, God. You are crazy. <laughs> oh. Precious is still living her best life. Patrick, I found you a friend. <laughs> Hates them. <laughs> Prash. Oh, Prash like here. They're a little treat yeah. for you. <laughs> she doesn't want anything to do with it either. Uh, probably because it's already dead. So as you can tell, we're just walking around the beach, looking for, I don't know, anything interesting. <laughs> Nice and sandy though. Okay, let's go learn some history of Oyster Bay. I see the sign says history of Oyster Bay. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Obviously I'm not gonna read all of it, but if you guys wanna pause it, you're more than welcome to. 4.25 acres, I'll skim through it. Logging, ship graveyard, oof. And today it's a park. Okay. The tide is definitely out. It actually smells. <laughs> but the view is beautiful. Okay, home sweet home. I cranked the furnace before I just went for that second part of the walk. There's Preshy. I know, Presh, I'm sorry. I didn't take you with me. I know. Good morning, once again. We made it through the night here at the rest area. You can see Patrick, me. That was actually all that was here last night was just the two of us, so I don't know. There are no camping signs posted, but meh. Precious is over there doing her sniffing. Crash, don't go too far. Anyways, we're gonna get back on the road here in a couple minutes and we're gonna head right up that road right there, up that way and onward to Campbell River. Come on, Slowpoke, it's time to go. Let's go. Get up in the house. Uh, I could clean these steps 500 times a day and they're still disgusting. As you can see, it's a bit of a rainy day so far. Hopefully it stops raining. Ready, Presh? Are you ready? Okay, we're just coming into the marina here in Campbell River. It never fails though. Every time I'm up in this area, it always seems to be raining. But it's beautiful. First, we gotta go and find some propane and then we'll take a look around the town. Well, we made it to the gas station. <laughs> gas is $1.32.9 a liter. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, welcome to Canada. Let's go find out how much the propane costs. Well guys, we're just hanging out here down at the uh, marina because there's lots of room to park as you can see. We've got the ferry coming in. One of them. I'm not even sure where that one goes. Cloudy, cold, damp day. Okay guys, it's another 
another day. We just left the campground and it looks like we might get some blue skies today. It's supposed to be, well, I don't want to use the word warm, but it's supposed to go up to about, I don't know, nine degrees or so today. So fingers crossed. I was just sitting here thinking, what the hell is that noise? It's two bald eagles either talking or fighting with each other. God, they're big birds. There's Patrick over there. We just made a quick pit stop here at the Campbell River Walmart, which is probably the most native Walmart I've ever seen with their native symbols and their totem poles. But it's shaping up to be a nice day. Okay guys, well, now we're gonna head north. We're just leaving Campbell River. We are gonna go and check out a recreation site. Should have some free camping. Hopefully it has a cell phone signal. And yes, I woke up with a giant zit on my face. <laughs> Anyways, it's a beautiful day. The sun's shining. It's supposed to be a high of like eight or nine degrees Celsius. So, fingers crossed, they'll have a spot for us and uh, they'll have some cell phone service. Okay, well we got here, but as you can see, we're backing up because number one, it's an active logging route and we just got a gridlock pile. <laughs> and number two, we're in this mud and I'm hoping I don't get stuck because there's no cell phone service, no nothing. Oh God. Poor Nana. It's getting a workout today. I cannot see the highway. Sometimes when you're driving these big rigs, you just literally have to back up super slow and hope that traffic sees you. Oh boy. Okay, no one's back there. Woo! Take me back to cell phone service. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> on the road again. Well, just like that, we're back in Campbell River. We've got some cell phone service. My window is also filthy. I don't know, y'all, there you can see it. I seem to have run out of washer fluid, so I'll need to find a store, I guess. I don't know how well this is gonna come out because my window is disgustingly dirty, but woo-wee, the mountains off in the distance are beautiful. Boom, just like that, clean windshield, and we're back in sunny, green, lush Parksville. Yes, Crash, I know you wanna go for a walk. I guess this must mean that spring is soon to arrive. They're starting to get everything ready down here at the community park. Wow, that's gonna be a lot of volleyball nets, I guess. Here's another sure sign of spring. We've got, I guess they're probably lilies starting to come up. Oh, there's my palm trees. Beautiful, clear day. Well guys, I'm happy to be back in Parksville because the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day, and uh, as you can see, the grass is even green. Once you start going too far north on the island, it's just winter. Classic Canadian winter. No palm trees. So, home sweet home in Parksville for the night. Okay guys, well as you can see, it's starting to get dark out, so... Let's go find somewhere to sleep. Okay, home sweet home. My favorite little roadside pullout. Right across from the RV dealership. 